Hello everyone, and welcome to a very short demo of the Techcon client plugin. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is a Jenkins server running on top of GKE with workload identity enabled. It is built on the standard Jenkins Helm chart. Um, that's linked there. The only thing we've done is we've used a custom Jenkins image to reinstall a series of plugins into the Docker image. Um, so that plugins aren't downloaded every time on startup and we know that we have a consistent set of plugins there. The configuration is all JCAST based and is available in that in the repository you can see here. And the test repo that I'm going to show you now looks like this. So it's a simple Golang app, nothing special. Um, the idea is that what we want to do is clone this app, clone this repo at the right point in time, build the Golang app, and then create a Docker file from that. Um, if I take a look at the Jenkins file, you can see it's a simple pipeline, single stage only, with the Tekton create rule that will create a pipeline run based on the Hello World YAML file that you can see here. Other thing to note, we're installing, we're running in a different namespace. So by default, Jenkins is installed in the Jenkins namespace. We've installed Tekton into the Tekton pipelines namespace. Um, let's have a look at that pipeline. So hello world is a pipeline run. The interesting part of this, we generate a random name for it. We're creating a shared workspace that can be used between various tasks. And then we're reusing tasks from the Tekton catalog so we don't have to build these ourselves. So we're reusing the Git clone one and the Kaneko task. So let's have a look at Jenkins. The standard Jenkins running on GCP. We can see the main branch here. Let's trigger this. But it's also worth pointing out what I have on the side here. So this window here is showing the Jenkins logs coming from the, the Jenkins namespace and the Jenkins pod. And this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch all the pods in the Tekton client namespace. Some pipelines namespace, sorry. Let's kick off a build. So this is all standard pipeline stuff. It hasn't handed over control to Tekton yet, but it has just now. So you can see now we have some pods being started up. Some of them are in appendix state, but you can see the logs on the left-hand side as those pods get into running state and as that repo is going to clone the repository at the point in time, once the container is ready, you'll see the logs being printed out there. As soon as that is completed, we're going on to the next step. The final part of this build is to create a Docker container from uh, the source, the application that we just built. And that's done. And what we get is a successful build. Um, a failure to be able to build a Tekton pipeline if if the one of the pods fails, one of the task run fails, or a, a, a validation fails on the pipeline run, then that is propagated back to the Jenkins job. You can see that. I'm now going to show you something a little bit more complicated. So this is a pull request that we have open. What we want to do is we want to run a different pipeline or a PR than, we, than a, a, for a release. So if we have a look at this pull request, we can see uh, I've created two pipelines in here. I have a PR pipeline. They're actually the same, but just for, for, the, for the purpose of the demo, um, the only difference is the name. And then I'm using uh, some, I suppose, more standardized um, pipeline configuration to run the release pipeline when the branch 
is main or run the PR pipeline when the branch is here. And I'm going to trigger that manually for now. Let's build that. In a few seconds, you should see the PR based pipeline triggering on the right hand side. Just want to have a look at that on the GitHub side. So we can nicely see, we also get this really nice um, GitHub check that's coming back from Tekton with the status update on every PR that's going. Um, it only has my picture on it because that's what I uploaded to the GitHub. is complete. You can see we have the green tick at the top and the, task, the check has been marked successful. Thank you.